I am, I should say good afternoon, I'm on my way down to the barn. It's about three o'clock. Um, it's a little bit chillier today, but it is much more beautiful day than yesterday. But let me tell you guys about the wind last night. It was, it, it was starting to get a little bit windy when I was at the barn. I, I told you guys about that, but it was so windy that literally, like, you could hear the trees creaking all night. Like, it was that windy. Um, I think they said, like, 30 miles an hour sustained with up to 50 miles per hour gusts. It's even still a little bit windy now, but nothing even remotely close to last night. Um, it was actually scaring me a little bit how loud the wind was. Uh, there was a trash can knocked over this morning. Like, it was bad. And it went on like that for probably like two hours constantly it was doing that so it was a uh, quite the interesting um night last night but thankfully there was i was mostly worried about like losing power or something thankfully none of that occurred um everything was fine and uh no trees came down so good <laughs> but uh it was definitely uh, i was up till about uh almost three just because that wind was so uh intimidating but anyway that windy night has given way to a beautiful cloudless sunny day uh it's in the 50s but it doesn't feel that bad because there's no clouds and um yeah so on my way down to the barn i'm gonna hang out with them i'm hoping that that wind last night going on so long plus the sunshine this morning has dried things out a little bit uh but we'll see so i'll see you guys down there and i hope you guys are having a great day as well She's kind of off by herself today, so I'm going to say hi to her. Just by looking at the pasture, it does look like it's a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, it's still, a, still muddy as you can see, but I think it is a little bit better than yesterday. At least there is a little bit of dry. Uh, yesterday there wasn't like a dry spot out there. So, just say hi to her. I think it's better than yesterday. A little bit. Sunshine is helping. So leave that. Okay, I'm gonna go say hi to Blondie and uh, the other ones are over there. Oh, even that's dried out a little bit. That is awesome. Because that's usually how I get over there. And it was full of water yesterday and now it's dry, so I'm really happy about that. Hey, snowman. Good morning, Blondie. Saw the hoops and said, What? What are you guys doing? Running around here last night? Jeez, look at all that. It was not there yesterday. <coughs> Good morning, sweet girl. I'm taking a nap. Is it a rough night? <coughs> rough night. See you guys in a bit. I'm gonna hang out with her and uh, hopefully can even make my way over there since that little area is dried out. I can't believe what just happened. He walked up to me, I held my hand out and he walked up to me of his own free will and then he pinned his ears and left. But, <laughs> but it was cute, it was absolutely adorable. Um, it's the first time he's walked up to me on his own accord. It really is a beautiful day though. I almost prefer this over yesterday. Yesterday might have been warmer, but today is sunnier and drier. Like, I can actually walk. So, testament to how yesterday was if you look at my shoes. So, <laughs> yeah. And they all seem pretty chill today. So, just enjoying it. That's adorable. Star decided to plop down right in front of me and go to sleep. She was doing what Blondie was doing, just sleeping, standing up, but then she was like, nope. I'm just going to plop down. It's pretty cute. <coughs> I believe it's going to be a lot easier to get through the bush today than yesterday. Yesterday was a nightmare. But the wind did dry it out a little bit. 
little bit of the wood. <coughs> Make sure we just don't have to hug the barbed wire fence. So that's my improvement. Not how much you know, but yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a lot easier than yesterday. The wind definitely did us some good. Because I just have to walk that section right there and through. So much easier. I'm coming this way to see Pistolani and stuff because I still can't get across right there. Uh, but this works. So it's pretty easy. I just went and said hi to the boys. In a lot of ways, it's warmer than yesterday. Like, I'm walking back now and uh, it's just like that sun is so warm shining today that it is incredible. Very thankful for it. Hi, Diamond. And it's definitely a lot easier to get back and forth, so I'm very thankful for that, too. Hey, guys. So I actually did a little training refresher with Blondie, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a pic right now. She did amazing. I actually got the halter on her face, which is normally something... I think I've only done that twice before. So I'll insert that picture here. And she picked up her foot for me. Um... Here. I'll see if she'll do it again on camera. Let me set the brush down for a minute. I don't know if she'll do it again or not, but we'll see. Um, and I did a little bit with Chip, too. I had Chip pick up her foot, and she did it. No, I think I think she's had enough for today. Oh, there we go. Good girl. But um, anyway, so yeah. I, uh, I wanted... My original goal for this month was to get Blondie at least walking on the lead reliably. Um, so that they could do it, you know, when I'm not here, but she did pretty good, and, uh, I didn't want to push it, so we stopped, and, uh, we'll do more tomorrow, but that went really well. That was, I was actually a little bit nervous, not so much just because of Blondie or Chip or anything, just because I haven't worked with a horse, uh, since, you know, before my accident, so I didn't know how I'd feel picking up a hoof if I felt strong enough, or, you know, if they got stubborn on the lead like Chip did, if I'd have the the uh the strength to to correct her because i i have lost some of my confidence around horses that i'm still getting back but uh everything went perfect so like that gave me some of my confidence back and uh it was nice now i'm brushing chip off her job well done for her work as well even though she was very stubborn about it <laughs> she eventually listened so I've only really actually been able to hang out with Chip and them because they're still all over there. And I tried to get over there and it just was not working. But, um, yeah. Almost done brushing her, actually. But, she was good. Well, the sun is just starting to set, but I'm sitting with Blondie while she's eating. Keyword on the word sitting because it's actually, I mean, it's mud, but it's dry enough that I can actually sit today instead of stand. Um, so I'm very thankful for that, and uh, enjoying the sunset. I think this right here, more than anything, these are the kind of moments I want to remember the most. Just sitting here, they're eating their grain, sitting with my favorite horse in the entire world, and just feeling at peace out in nature. With the sunset going down, and the birds singing, and the blue sky, it's just, this, these are the, these are my favorite moments here, and these are definitely the moments that I want to remember the most. Hey guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and say goodnight while I'm sitting out here, because when I get back, I'm not going to be doing much besides, it looks like Matt was out of his pen, besides uh, my treatment and, uh, taking care of princess and all that stuff and eating dinner but um hanging out with them for a little bit longer the sunlight's gonna go down soon so i'll have to leave soon but just a little bit longer and uh i have to say i don't know if i mentioned it in my vlogs yet but also another reason i'm glad to be down here right now is when i'm down here it brings me like peace and calmness and i am really nervous about wednesday <coughs> um i mean i'm not going under anesthesia this time I, I'm getting my, I'm getting, back in September I had five metal implants here and here in my gums and bone, 
and uh, on Wednesday I'm getting like the attachments to that. But uh, yeah, I think the fact that I'm not going under anesthesia is actually what's wigging me out because the thought of being awake while somebody is cutting into your gums and screwing metal into you, no, <laughs> no. So, um, so I'm glad to be down here and uh, just forget about that for like for today three hours just forget about it and uh yeah but my phone is also low battery so i don't want to kill it so i'm gonna go ahead and say good night um and then i'll upload this when i get home so thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and i also would appreciate some uh some prayers for wednesday because i am i'm pretty terrified so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys tomorrow good night